to be better at doing it, then you have an instrument or anything and you use it to be hitting somebody. What? 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 You hit and hit and hit. The person may be bended, the person may refuse to succumb to the maltreatment. It's not just one time, often and on. According to Lexicon Dictionary, it says striking something on someone repeatedly and ceaselessly, violently and often to beat the person out of shape. That's being battered. I hope you understand that word battered. Because that's what our message in this one, to be battered. Children can be battered. Women can be battered. And I expect that only non-living things are supposed to be battered. When you want to batter a wall, you batter, batter on the wall, problems and problems. When you want to batter a metal, iron, or otherwise, you batter them, you, you beat and beat with all your strength until it comes to the shape you want it to be. It is not meant to be human beings. But in our world today, even before that time, because of our cultural background, people batter each other, especially the men. They think that a um, woman, they have purchased with the money with somebody to be battered. It's something to be battered. In fact, many men in those days value the property in their house more than the lives of a uh, woman. Some women in their homes were not even able to occupy the position of a house girl of these days. But the health care has an option of working out from you, from your house, and if you don't treat them well. But in those days, if you walk out of your marriage, your parents will quit you, you panic, rush you back to the house. It's your home. You have to remain there, whether you like it or not. At least I had that experience because I like it from my own marriage several times. Before, the best they could do for me then was to allow me to sit down. Praise the Lord. So, human beings are not to be battered. But the society encourages and even pastors that are the ones. Top of those who do not know the living God. My prayer for all of us this day that we will never face this in our lives. But I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. When somebody strikes me, they believe in the and I'm I can fall down. And once you have a fall, you may not be able to get up. Nobody can give us some time in the mighty name of Jesus. We are all here because we are alive. If we are not alive, if we got up this morning, we could not raise our legs. We could not move our hands. We could not wear our dresses. We could not walk. We would not be here. I want you to give to the Lord who has kept up all his life and brought us here. Father, we thank you. It's only the living who can talk. It's only the living, the living who can worship you. It's only the living who can tell the stories of the past. Who can know that you have mercy? Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I would say that our culture encouraged earlier marriages before. Early marriages, people married, like my own mother, she married at the age of 13. I got married at the age of 25. Even after my graduation and work service. You can imagine those who married at that 13, 14, 15 and had nothing to do. What was their plight? Even today, when you are educated, even look at you and size you up. Who don't have the spirit of God and think of how to bring you down to size? Because many think that being educated, that you have known so many things and they want to put you down to your own level. What is your level? The level of God says that we are all equal before God. And that is what I believe in. However,
ever since we are alive and we are into talking about marriage. It is good that the woman should marry. Because at a certain point in your life, you need to move from your family onto your own abode, onto your own house. God instituted marriage. If you look at your Bible, there is no problem with that one kind of answer and solution from the Bible. When you look at the Bible, and you make the Bible your best partner. And so, marriage is an institution God loves. Up to today, the devil, because he knows that God loves the marriage, he is using it to torment people. He is using it to bastardize the society. He is using it to bring conflict and chaos. Because mothers are very important in their homes. If you train your children well, the society will be a better place. And the devil does not want many women to be happy. That's why my prayer this morning is that women, even if they are not empowered from their home to empower themselves, walk, live, have a voice, and be able to defend themselves and think of their family in Jesus' name. Man and the man comes together to be one. Two have become one. We are tied together by the courts, by traditional marriage, and also by the word of God. If two have become one, if you are beating yourself, if you are beating your partner, it means you don't understand. It means that you are beating yourself. Because if you beat yourself, it's painful. I was in a prayer the other day, they said, those who think that they need deliverance, you start, you start slapping yourself. Nobody is going to slap themselves so hard. Because me, I can't slap myself so hard unless somebody slaps me, I know that the person has slapped me. Anything that is painful, I won't want to do it. And if a man does it to the wife, it means that the man is beating himself. And I believe that no man is meant to to this place, to beat their wives. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes. When I was in all those who feed their wives, Apple. Walk, 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 Apple. And yes, some people still fall and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want somebody to go through their Bible to Ephesians 5 to 21 to take the fast walk. I don't know my time, so that I won't. Okay, I'm, this is my preamble. Ephesians 5 to 21 to if you have it, please just read it. Okay? I just want to say something about the Ephesians. This where the Lord is speaking to men and women. When you have to go to their marriage, instead of living a life of fornication or adultery, you bring a woman home. You don't bring every woman. You have to pray and for the sake of that whatever problem you think you have, the solution is always found in the Bible. That is a place where the Lord, 22 wives submit to the husband to your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wife be there. Be to their own husband in everything. Husbands love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. That he might sanctify and cleanse it in the washing of water by the word that he may present it to his as a glorious church. What I'm trying to bring out here is that nobody has been married except God. Wives are admonished. Submit. Husband, love your wife. Nobody can claim that they love Christ and that they are born again if they don't love their wife, if they beat their wife, if they are not responsible fathers. Praise the Lord. On that day of marriage, when you stop, and you prayed, either in the court or in the church, of marriage, there was a question, do you love this wife? You said yes. If you love her and you marry her, and after all the prayers, you should be able to protect her, even as Christ protects the church. 